Sabadi is, uh, he's a Malian, Griya, which means he um, comes from a family tradition. Uh, 80 generations he can trace back his family playing the Kora, which is the 21 string, if I'm right, African harp. It's got a spiritual uh, element to it, which, uh, which comes out of, of, of the improvisations. And the improvisations are, are based on sort of uh, very traditional uh, patterns. The, the role of the griot um, in West African culture is to um, preserve all of this information, this beautiful sort of uh, spiritual music and during a, a performance these links and, and melodies are sort of weaved into whatever's happening. So there's extraordinary potential for magic to happen when a great chora player is in session and Tamani is maybe the greatest uh, chora player alive. To witness that when it's really flying, and I mean it does, or, or when the chora player is, is sort of enthralled with the spirit, um, there's that sense that there's a direct connection between, between God and what you're hearing. That's a pretty awesome proposition when you're going to just watch someone play. Tamani, when he's really on a roll and really in the moment, it, it feels like you're in the presence of, 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 of some uh, a spiritual moment. extraordinary dexterity and speed of the cadenzas. They kind of, they wrap you up and just sort of cast you out into the universe. <laughs> Sounds very uh, dramatic, but it, 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 it is dramatic. I mean, when he's, when he's on fire, he's, he's on fire, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a, just like a volcano. So I recommend anyone go and see him play. You know his records are incredible, but they but they can't touch that moment when you when you're in his presence, and you know uh, the spirit takes over him. That's what I'd say.